Hi, and welcome to Caper and Trail. My name is Monique. And today I'm going to tell you all about my new pattern called Steve the Comedian. And I'm very excited because Steve the Comedian is my very first quilting pattern. I had a lot of fun designing this pattern and I'm really happy that I can tell you all about it. So get yourself a nice cup of tea or coffee and let's get started with this show and tell. So let's start this video with a fun fact. The reason that this pattern is called Steve the Chameleon is that my first pet with my husband was a little chameleon called Steve. So that is why this pattern is called Steve the Chameleon. For the designing part, I used a software program called EQ8. And it's a really nice program because you can make your very own quilt blocks, but there are also uh, standard blocks available. I really like it to uh, make my own quilt blocks, so that is what I did for Steve the Chameleon. And let me show you my very first attempt of making a chameleon. So this is how my uh, first Steve the Chameleon uh, looked like. So I played around in the software, just uh, playing around with shapes and see if I liked it or not. And yeah, it is still a little bit of funny looking uh, chameleon, but the uh, feeling is already there. So I uh, made a few adjustments and this is my second design. As you can see, I added the details on his back and I changed his uh, legs. So it's already more like a, a real comedian, but I still felt that something was missing. So I asked my husband for some advice and he told me to adjust his eyes. And that's what I did. And I really liked his uh, eyes popping out. So this is uh, almost the design that I used for the pattern, uh, Steve the Comedian. I really love designing patterns. I think it is so fun to uh, make them on the computer and then uh, yeah, get behind the sewing machine and make uh, the design. So this is my very first Steve the Comedian and I really love how he turned out. I made this block during a lockdown, so I used fabrics that I had laying around. And this is my second version. I was really happy with the design, so I decided to make my very first quilt with Steve the Comedian. Let me show you. Ta-da! <laughs> it is this really bright, uh, cheerful, I think crib size quilt. And I think it turned out so cute used this really bright uh, colors that I had lying around. And yeah, that's one of the things I really like about this pattern, that you can use all kinds of colors. And yeah, that's what I did. I used this really nice blue and purple and green. And for the binding, I used this really nice uh, rainbow-like fabric. And I think that worked out very nice. Let me show you. And for the quilting part, I used my embroidery machine. So instead of free motion, I hooped the quilt and stitched out the design. After I made this first quilt, I made some adjustments to the pattern and I made the final version of a Steve the Comedian. So um, it's time to show you my finished uh, Steve the Comedian. So I made uh, a sample and this is the final version. So. Yeah, I'm really excited to show you. Our duck is outside and I have to make sure he is not going uh, on a hike by himself. But I think he's fine. So, ta-da! Like you can see, I made a few uh, adjustments after my first uh, quilt. I added a row of chameleons and I designed leaves. And now this is a really nice uh, throw size quilt and I really love it. So I used uh, fabrics from Moda, that are the Bella, Bella solids. And what I really like about this pattern is that you really have a lot of options to play with uh, fabrics. You can make a really bright uh, quilt or uh, a quilt that would be really nice for in your living room. I had a lot of fun and I really hope you will have a lot of fun with it too. And I had a lovely group of ladies help me uh, testing this pattern. 
and I'm really grateful for their help. And let me show you some of the Steve the Comedians. And I really love to see that they are all so different. And I really like that about the pet and you have a lot of options to make your own version. When you buy the pattern, you can have fully illustrated um, instructions. And in, there is a Dutch version, but there's also an English version. And one thing that is really unique is that there is uh, as less text as possible. Instead, I use icons so you can see what to do. And that makes it really easy to make your own Steve the Comedian. There's also a uh, coloring page. And there are tags that help you organize. And of course, there is a list with all the uh, materials, all the fabric you need. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them below. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!